Hello everyone, I'm JG. Welcome back to Music Forever, where today I'm reviewing the new Blink-182 single, Misery. Now, I already reviewed the previous Blink-182 single, Parking Lot, that's coming up from their California Deluxe Edition album that's coming out in May. I know it's not really an album, it's just a deluxe edition of their album, California, that was released last summer. However, it's practically a new album, because it's around 10 or 11, I forgot, new tracks. So it's pretty much a new album, and this is the second single kind of coming off of that. And if you watch my review for Parking Lot, which I will link at the end of the video and the down below, you should check that out if you haven't already done so, because I explain my opinions about California, the album, and it does kind of affect how I perceive these songs, because the, to sum it up, I wasn't a big fan of California overall. There were some tracks that I did really like, but for the most part, it was just kind of generic in my opinion. And I kind of felt the same way about Parking Lot. But this song right here, Misery, this is the stuff I want to be see coming from Blink-182 at this point in their career. I feel like Matt Skeeb is really starting to adjust to the band, starting to fit in more. His vocals during the course of this track remind me a lot of Left Alone. That was my favorite song on the original California. And I really like how he's able to provide a very, you know, explosive chorus. And he really fits in with the song well. I really feel like he's starting to become part of Blink here. The lyrics here are a bit better than what we've been seeing from Blink-182. Uh, they're definitely not like super original or super interesting or anything like that. However, they are better than a lot of the super generic pop-punk lyrics that were found on California, in my opinion. And, you know, they're compelling here enough that the song is listenable. All the instrumentals here are also feel very good. And they do sound California-like in a sense, even though this is kind of like Blink's second album with Matt Skiba, it kind of isn't at the same time because it's just a deluxe edition. So I do expect this new project, even though it's consisting of new songs, I do expect it to sound like California in a way because it would be kind of weird if their deluxe edition of an album sounded completely different from that album. But, you know, I hope that they're going to be able to keep stepping up the quality of the material that it could sound like California, but a better version of it. That's what I'm really looking for in this new deluxe edition. And I feel like if all the tracks are like Misery more than they are like Parking Lot or some of the other tracks that were on California, this is going to be a, a good project. As far as complaints go with this track, the bridge gets a bit repetitive in my opinion, and you know, Mark Hoppus' vocals quite, aren't quite as strong as Matt Skiba's, and the song's a bit on the long side for a Blink track being almost 4 minutes long, and I don't feel like it needs to be that long, it can definitely be shortened at parts. But overall, these are very minor complaints. Overall, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be reviewing both Blink-182's California, the original album, and Blink-182's deluxe edition of California when it comes out. Uh, so expect those to come out soon. So you, you want to make sure to subscribe and not miss out on those. Make sure to leave a like on the video, comment if you got anything to say. Thanks for watching, and stay golden!